and I'm going to share my screen with you. And welcome, everyone. We're going to look um, this week at various hands um, being played in suit contracts and different approaches you can have to different kinds of hands in terms of drawing trumps, roughing, uh, sometimes roughing in both hands, cross roughing, or sometimes roughing in order to establish a suit. And we'll look at different approaches with different kinds of hands. And let's start off with this hand here. This is the one I sent out in the weekly email. And you open one spade, your partner bids two diamonds, you rebid two hearts, then they support spades, and you end up in four spades. And the opponents lead the king of diamonds, and down comes dummy. And very often in a suit contract, you should be focused on how many potential losers you have. So I'm going to launch the first poll in a moment. And the question is, if you decide on this hand to win the ace of diamonds and then draw trump straight away, uh, it will presumably take three rounds of trumps uh, to draw the opponent's trumps. If you do that, how many potential losers will you have on this hand? So if you decide to draw trumps right away, how many potential losers does Declarer have on this hand? And most of you have gone for three, 46%, but there are answers for all the others as well, one, two, four, and five. And if we switch back to this, let's go through it. So in spades, we've missing the ace, but I don't think we're going to lose more than one trick there. We've got all the high trump. If we draw trumps first, it will take at least three rounds and we will be end up with two heart losers. So we've got one spade loser and two heart losers. We've got no diamond losers because um, if they keep playing diamonds, we can rough in our hand and we've got no club losers. So, yes, I like to start off by making a plan, assuming you draw trumps first and you're going to end up with three losers on this hand so you could just make your contract um but you can clearly do better than this you can't avoid losing to the ace of spades but you can avoid losing those two hearts if you delay drawing trumps until you've roughed two hearts now there's a slight risk in that that you might get over roughed um but it's worth taking uh, a chance to to make extra tricks there because barring a very bad break in hearts, you should be able to rough twice. So that's what we're going to do on this hand. We'll win the first trick. And before we touch trumps, we'll play the hearts. We'll play the ace and the king and then the ace of hearts. And then we're going to lead a heart. And it's worth thinking at this stage what you're going to rough with. I want to rough twice here. So I think I'll rough the first one with a seven and then the last one with the 10. And that 10, um, 10 of spades can't be over after except with the ace. So that's my plan on this hand. I'm gonna rough the first one with the seven. Fingers crossed that worked. And now I want to get back to my hand in order to uh, rough again. And the safest way probably to get back to your hand is not with a diamond rough, but with a club. So. We'll play a club here to the queen, and then I'm going to lead my last heart, planning to rough with the 10 here. Now, on this particular hand, on this layout, west discards. So I know that east has got the last heart, so I can rough low or high here. It doesn't matter. Um, I can rough low. They play the queen. And now I've done that. Now I go back to the normal thing you do in bridge of drawing trumps. So I'll leave the 10. It's a good idea to overtake here with the uh, king and then keep drawing the opponent's trumps. Let's bring up the four hands at this point and you play another uh, spade. You get a bad break here, but it's still right to keep uh, drawing trumps. 
And at some point, West is going to get in with their ace of spades. And if they play a diamond here, we fortunately can rough that and still draw that last trump. And then we've got the last two club tricks. So played that way, we can actually make uh, 12 tricks here. We, we just lose one spade, but we're able to successfully uh, rough the heart suit. What I see a lot of people doing on hands like this, let's look at this played in a slightly different way, is they uh, win the first trick and then they've created this void here in the south hand and they have this urge to rough diamonds. But roughing diamonds in the hand with a long trump suit, as I often say, doesn't really gain you anything most of the time. We'll look at some cases where it does make sense to do that, but this isn't one of them. And in fact, on a hand like this, even though you've got pretty good trumps, if you um, rough even one diamond, either now or later on to get back to your hand, you can um, run into this bad trump break and you can lose control of the trump suit. So if you do decide you want to rough a diamond here, let's suppose you rough um, and now go back to your plan of roughing hearts. So we'll play this exactly as we did before except that we roughed a diamond early on. So we successfully roughed there. Now we want to get back to our hand, which we'll do with the queen of clubs. And we play another heart. West discards here. And so just as before, we can rough low. And you may think you're, you're okay now, but you are in a bit of problem here because if you play the, as you did before, play the 10 of spades, overtake, if West wins the ace now, if they now switch back to a diamond, you can rough. Um, but because you've got a bad trump break, you are now in danger of, you know, in fact, you're going to lose at least one uh, trump trick here. Um, you have lost control of the trump suit. You don't know it yet, but when you come to draw, continue drawing trumps here, East discards, and now you discover that West has got two trump more than you and you can't draw the last trump and cash your clubs if you try to cash the clubs first west can rough and should play back another diamond and if you want to win that you have to rough with your last trump and again they get uh, another trick with their eight of spades so played that way instead of making 12 tricks you only made uh, 10 tricks and it was all due to that unnecessary rough of the diamond which shortened your trump holding and put you at risk of losing control of trump because the trumps divided 4-1 on this occasion. Anyone have any comments or questions on this? I see this is one of the most common mistakes in bridge, roughing in the long hand. There are situations where you should rough in the long hand, um, but you shouldn't do it unless you have a, a good reason. So what are the reasons for roughing in the long hand? Well, sometimes you want to play the hand by cross roughing. We'll look at some examples of that in a minute. Sometimes establishing a long suit by roughing uh, will be a, a good approach. We'll look at one uh, idea there. And sometimes you have to rough in the long hand to get back to the master hand. And we'll look at some examples of that too. But if you don't have a good reason, then it's generally a bad idea as we just saw, to rough unnecessarily in the hand with a long trump suit. Let's have a look at this one. And here you open a weak two hearts. West overcalls two spades and your partner puts you in four hearts. And the opponents lead the king of spades. And let's stop to make a plan on this hand. And I'm going to start off by looking at my potential losers. So I can see in the spade suit, I've got two potential losers. In the heart suit, I've got nine trump missing the queen. I may lose to the queen or I may not. Um, in diamonds, I've got one loser in the south hand, but I could rough that if necessary. And I've got no club losers. But what I have on this hand, in addition uh, to, to those losers, is I've got a very good club suit in dummy. In fact, that club suit could easily provide a lot of tricks um, if I can establish it. And what I'm thinking of is I've got what's eight clubs here. 
So if the missing clubs divide 3-2, I should be able to cash the ace-king, then rough once, and that will establish a club suit. And very often, if you have a long suit, it's by far the best way to make the most of a hand. Rather than roughing, um, you can often establish a suit by roughing and uh, make a lot of tricks that way. So that's what we're going to do on this hand. Now, sometimes, well, let's win that first trick. And sometimes you might uh, need to do that right away before you draw trumps. But on a hand like this, I think I've got quite good entries to the north hand. So I think I can try drawing trumps first. So let's suppose I play a heart over to the king. And then I'm going to play a heart back. The queen appears and east follows. So that's very good news. The, the, the trumps divided evenly. And in fact, that's all the trumps gone. So um, now I'm going to try to set up the club suit. And I'm going to again think about the missing clubs. There are five missing clubs. So I'm going to play the king first, then the ace. And now everyone has followed. I know there's one high club out and I can rough it, but that will establish a club suit. And this is an example of me leading a club. And I'm roughing here in the hand with a long trump suit because that I'm doing that in order to establish a club suit. So I rough that one. And now I can just go back to dummy. I've got the ace of diamonds. And now I can cash my remaining clubs. All the trumps have gone. And I'll discard uh, all my losers there. And I'll make all the rest. So played that way, you can actually make 13 tricks on this hand. And all it needed was a reasonable uh, club distribution uh, for you to set up that suit and discard all your losers on it so that was by far the the best option there and it was an example where during the play you did rough a club in the long hand but that was in order to establish a suit let's have a look at another one and um let's suppose the bidding has gone uh one club we've got that four four one four hand so we open the suit below the singleton my partner bids a diamond I bid a heart, and then they put me into four hearts. And the opponents um, lead the king of clubs on this hand. And let's have a little uh, think about how we're going to uh, play that. And I've got a poll um, coming up for you in a moment, which is going to be, what is your plan on this hand? And I'm going to give you four ways to uh, to play this. Either are you going to try to rough clubs in dummy or are you going to try to rough diamonds in your hand? Or are you going to cross rough clubs and diamonds? Or are you going to just start by drawing the opponent's trumps first? OK, so there's four lines of play. And here comes the poll, and I'd like you to choose which option you're going to do, uh, try. Okay, let's have a look at the results. And most of you have gone for cross roughing. Um, some one person said drawing trumps, and the others some said drawing rough diamonds, and some said roughing clubs. So let's have a look at that and see what we think. Well, if we look at this from our own hands point of view, we can see we have three potential losers here. We're not going to lose any spades or any hearts or any diamonds, but we have these three clubs. Um, and perhaps we can rough those clubs. Or you can look at it from North's point of view, where you have, again, no spade losers, no heart losers, no, and no clubs here to lose, but you've got three diamond losers. And you could rough those in the um, in the south hand. And basically, the correct answer to this is that you should aim to either rough diamonds in one hand or to rough clubs in the other. But what you can't really do is a complete cross rough because you have four spades that you would like to cash. 
And so you need to draw trumps at some point or you won't be able to take four spade tricks. You'll only be able to take two tricks at the most before someone's able to rough probably. So on this hand, you can do this either way. You can either plan to rough three clubs in the north hand or three diamonds in your own hand, but cross roughing um, is not really going to work. So this is how I suggest you might play it. If they lead a club that sort of sets you up ready for uh, roughing in club, and you may as well carry on with clubs. So here I'm. my plan is to rough three clubs in dummy. So I'm going to rough the first one low. Now I want to come back to my hand so that I can rough another one. So let's um, come back maybe with the ace of spades, rough another club. Okay. And I want to get back to my hand now to rough that last club. And it, it's getting increasingly hard to do this. Um, one way you could get back to your hand is by playing the ace of diamonds and roughing a diamond. And although you're sort of cross roughing, you're really only getting back to your hand. Uh, you're only roughing so that you can get back to your hand. And so you can now rough that last club. And here that uh, you're able to rough that. So now we're going to just draw trump. So we cash one round of trumps. We want to get back to our hand to um, draw the remaining trumps. And perhaps the uh, best way is to try to get back with the king of spades. If that all works, we're now going to draw the remaining trumps. Okay. And uh, then we've got two spades at the end. And it, it really... Uh, doesn't work so well if you were to just sort of embark on on roughing the clubs and the diamonds. We'll look at a, a hand similar to this in a moment. But the cross rough is not really the right approach here. And what makes that the case is that you have these four spades you wish to cash. And if you don't draw trumps, you won't be able to, uh, to um, take cash. Them. There are hands that are suitable for cross roughing. Um, and here's here's one um, where you end up in four hearts here. And if we have a look at this hand, we can see we've got a, a spade shortage and a diamond shortage. And this hand is quite a good candidate for cross roughing rather than just roughing in one hand. And what's different about it is that the side in the side suit here, um, you've just got two clubs. So you don't have a lot of clubs that you want to cash. So this is a kind of hand where we embark on a cross rough, uh, planning never to draw trump. So let's see how that goes. We win the first club and we might um, start with the ace of spades and roughing a spade. The, the other thing uh, on this one is we've got pretty good trumps in both hands, except for the two and three of hearts. So we start by roughing low. And then we're going to play the diamonds. We can cash the king of diamonds, discarding a club. And then go back to our plan of roughing. So we start by roughing low again. Uh, and we're going to continue to cross rough. But before we do, let's cash our last ace of clubs. Uh, so the opponents can't rough it. And then we go back to our plan of roughing spades. Here we're roughing high, so we can't really be over roughed. And we rough the remaining uh, spades and diamonds. And played that way, we can make all 13 tricks on this hand. We basically didn't lose any tricks. We were able to rough all our spades and all our diamonds. And this was a good candidate for a cross rough. It was different from the earlier one because we didn't have a, a four cards in a side suit that we wanted to cash. We just wanted to cash two clubs there. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at this last hand now. And again, we've ended up in four uh, hearts uh, on, this, uh, on this hand. And the bidding went one club, one spade, north doubled, which was a negative double showing the unbid suits. And you ended up here in four hearts. They've led the ace of spades. And I'm going to send out the final poll in a moment, which is what is your plan on this hand? Are you going to draw trumps 
Are you going to rough diamonds in your own hand? Are you going to rough spades in dummy? Or are you going to try to cross rough the spades and diamonds? Have a little think. And in a moment, here is the last poll. How are you going to play this hand? And we've got a variety of answers, uh, fairly even. The most popular one was roughing spades in dummy, uh, but there are answers for all the others um, as well. So let's uh, switch back and let's have a think about this. Well, I don't like cross roughing on this hand because we have four club tricks that we wish to cash. Um, if we look at it from our own hand's point of view, our only losers are uh, in spades where we've actually got four losers we could rough two of those and we can also discard one perhaps on the king of diamonds so if we can rough two spades we can um that is a uh, could be a winning strategy or we can look at it from the north hand point of view where our only losers are one spade and two diamonds and we could if we can rough the two diamonds Again, we can avoid, um, we could hope to make 12 tricks there, losing just one spade here. Now, I think on this hand, we could plan to rough spades or we could plan to rough diamonds. What we can't really do is both. And I think roughing diamonds is a better option. Why? Well, because of the bidding. Because West has overcalled in spades, has presumably got a long spade suit. And there's a risk if we try to rough spades that they may be overruffed, okay? If East is short in spades, maybe they'll be able to overruff. So I think the best option here is to rough two diamonds in your hand. And that's called making North of Master hand and roughing two diamonds. And we're gonna look at this hand played in a couple of different ways. Um, very few people suggested cross roughing on this hand, but let's start off by uh, seeing what happens if you do try to cross rough. Let's actually bring up the four hands as we're playing this. And um, let's see what happens if you decide you want to cross rough the diamonds and the spade. So if they they win the first trick, they may well shift to a diamond. You can win that. And then you play uh, a diamond, discarding a loser there. And then you rough a diamond. Then you rough a spade. It's all going very well here, except you're shortening your trump holding. Um, now, uh, sorry, at this point here, if you lead another diamond, you can see that um, if you rough with the 10 or the 8, West can over rough. In fact, the best play here is to uh, rough high. If you decide, if you guess right, you can rough high. But now if you carry on trying to rough, although the, you get away with the rough, you've now only got two trumps in each hand and you won't be able to draw trumps now. And if you now say, try to play the clubs, West will be able to rough, go back to uh, spade, which you can rough. Um, and you can draw two rounds of trumps, but East is left with the trump at the end. And or you'll make your contract, but you're only making 10 tricks by cross roughing. Let's have a look at this played um, a much better way by roughing the two diamonds. And what we're going to do here is uh, win that. Uh, sorry, when they switch to a diamond, we'll win that. And it's actually a good idea now to rough the diamond straight away, not... Don't cash the king of diamonds, rough the diamond. Now we're going to cross back to dummy. We're not cross roughing here. We're crossing back in trumps and we're going to rough the last diamond. And once we've done that, we're now in pretty good shape. Uh, we want to just draw trumps. The only slight difficulty on this hand is getting back to dummy to draw the remaining trumps. We'll do that with a spade rough. And then we can draw that last trump and we've now got the rest of the tricks. So we'll make 12 tricks there. 
just one last thing on this hand as you're playing this a lot of people before they rough any diamonds they cash the ace and the king of diamonds but that doesn't work very well here so it's much better here because we're going to draw trumps to just cash the ace and then um and then start roughing if you make the mistake of playing the king of diamonds and then trying to rough you're shortening the opponent's diamonds holding so you can rough that first one but if you go back again and now try to rough that last one you're in danger of an over rough here so if they now play spades you can rough that uh you can draw uh trump there um but it, it's very hard for you to get back to uh, the north hand now and in order to draw that last trump so on this hand you might just play your clubs and they will eventually be able to rough that and hold you to 10 tricks again and that was all caused by roughing um by catching the ace king of diamonds before you uh before you started drawing diamonds roughing spades here is a little more precarious as you can see um although you might get away with it on this hand because as you rough the spades it turns out that east doesn't have any high high trump here so you it might work for you there but i think roughing diamonds is a lot safer uh, especially based on that bidding there anyone have any comments or questions on that so do look out for that that business of which hand to to rough in especially when you have equal trump length we're very used to looking at dummy and seeing a shortness there and seeing oh we should rough spades but on this hand if you put your focus on the north hand pretend that you are north uh, uh, playing this then i hope you can see that roughing the diamonds might well be a better option than attempting to rough uh, spades there Anyone have any comments on that before we end the talk? 